So, go ahead. Tell me about one failure and what you learned from about your Casper project. Um, one, I consider two CAS projects to be a bit of a failure, but then I kind of it was okay in the end. Yeah. So one was um, prom committee, where I kind of maybe bit off more than I could chew and decided to be the leader, um, and I was quite stressed with it, and I ended up having to quit. So to me, that's why <coughs> it was um, sort of a failure. But I was in communication with the other girls, and I knew that um, it was in safe hands, and it ended up working out fine. Um, I'd say from that, because of the reason I quit was because I was very stressed and I had to communicate with a lot of people with a lot of different ideas and what they wanted. And I think from that, I kind of had more confidence um, in kind of managing events, say, um, and just communicating with people. My ideas, trying to work with other people's ideas, um, it's pretty hard going. They were very, the group I was working with were very kind of like opinionated about what they wanted. Um, so although I quit it, I think it, you know it was a lengthy period of time where I kind of put myself in an uncomfortable situation, and um, yeah, I think it went well overall until the end. Okay. So, so yeah. yeah. Um, another one was Chisomo. So um, I wouldn't call it a failure. Okay. No, it was great. Yeah, it was great, and it, there was failures to it. I say one was that I underestimated um, the language. <laughs> you know, some of them had English, some of them didn't. Um, so, in that way, it was kind of hard to tell what they actually wanted. So, you have to juggle a lot of different ideas. Um, you know, so we went into it head first saying, yes, we'll cook something. And then it was like, oh no, they don't get, you know, this ingredient easily, or they can't afford this ingredient. And it was kind of like, oh, there's actually a lot of things that we didn't consider, you know, and we went into it kind of like, oh, make cupcakes, and then they can't bring that back home with them, which was kind of the point. So um, I think in terms of like an enjoyment side of things, they enjoyed it um, every week, and it was something new for them, but in terms of practicality, that was kind of the failing aspect of yeah. that activity. <laughs> okay. Now, if you compare what I, what I liked looking at your activities and your experiences that you had, huh? now, especially looking at the prom committee, how do you feel now about being able to prepare, like investigate, set new goals, work and take a leadership role? Yeah, yeah, I, I feel more confident with it overall. I think um, I'd be able to do that again and I'd have a different kind of mindset, especially time management is a big thing. Yeah. Um, I mean, being a leader is great. I love being a leader because I don't really like working with other people. Um, more of an independent person, so being a leader is nicer for me, but um, I've also learned that you can't do it alone. Like, I bit off more than I could chew, and that's the reason why I got stressed, because I kind of tried to take everything for myself, and um, yeah, so I've probably realized that I'm a good leader, but there's still a lot to learn, especially, you know, balancing and delegating jobs is, you know. That, that's one thing through reading through your whole um, list, which is quite extensive, of um, of experience that you've done is dealing with stress. How does CAS help you deal with stress? Um, I think the activity side of it, um, so the calisthenics, um, yoga, also yoga is an activity that I've done from start to finish basically. Um, those have helped me deal with stress a lot, um, focus on something different. I think sometimes I, and overall with all the CAS activities, I've always tried to do more than maybe I should, which is so more with Girl Up, everything. So, although I really enjoyed those, they also became a stress as well as academic life. But I mean, with activity, there's no stress. There's no, oh, I need to get this done in this time, or I need to manage this exercise, whatever. So, um, they're nice. And also, you know, I was kind of in a group with other people. So that was kind of getting my mindset off it and real relying on other people to do an exercise or to hold me this way for yoga or whatever. So, um, yeah, I was just kind of shifting mindset really for... Yeah, I mean, your supervisor spoke about it as well in calisthenics that you're quite shy and you didn't really talk to anyone and then you said about your own reflections that that actually ended up being a downfall. Do you want to elaborate yeah. on that? Yeah, yeah, so um, it was a downfall for calisthenics because you're lifting heavy weights. So, you know, I usually try and stay to myself. I don't want to talk to other people really. I just want to get on with the exercise. But then I realized, you know, I'd come back with a sore back or 
I wasn't as enjoyable when I start started to talk to um, other people and you know even like laughing about it like oh I can't do this exercise can you do this exercise and that made it more enjoyable because there's also like the social aspect I got out of it too you know it's, especially with calisthenics I was outside of school so I was kind of meeting people outside of school I don't really know them kind of uncomfortable out of my comfort zone but then you know when you can laugh about it and then it becomes more enjoyable. So. One thing I also notice is that um, and uh, have you built up resilience over the last 18 months? Because you said you feel ill, like a lot of reflections said, you feel ill or you're feeling down, and then, but now, like I so see, you seem to have a lot more resilience about you, about the way you go about life. Is that true or yeah, not? Yeah, that's true. I think um, maybe there's a few external factors, and not just, you know, to do a cast or just to do it school, but yeah. I think. Um, I think everything has just told me to be more confident and wanted to just, okay, just do it, make it like, yeah. you know, like, and I just say it more formally than that, but it's kind of like, yeah, it's kind of just that mindset of like, look, I'm feeling down, I'm feeling stressed, I'm feeling this, I need to do something about it, and, yeah. you know, if calisthenics is on Monday, then, okay, I'm going to calisthenics tonight, and then go to yoga or whatever, so. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, what was the other question you wanted to answer? The, I think there's one by knowledge. I'm not sure. Um, the fourth, third one? Third one. Well, what types of knowledge did you gain through your class experience? Have you or will you pass this knowledge on to others? And what do you think that new knowledge will be useful for in the future? So, three so, questions in one. So, one, like, what I can say really important knowledge that I learned in the past few years is the importance of sustainability. Um, I, yeah, I really learned this in Girl Up, you know, talking to the other girls, because they're just me, Shay, and Finisi doing the Girl Up Club, and, um, and then trying to, like, pass it on to the other girls in the club, like, what do you guys want to do as an ideas and stuff, and all of them were saying, you know, oh, let's fundraise money, or for my birthday I can get money, daddy can give me money, it was like, money's not going to change the mindsets of girls who need hope, or need to know that, they don't have to do cooking and cleaning or you know like it's that it's the education that's so important and it's so overlooked and it's if I could pass something to the next people doing cast it would just be like guys money isn't everything it doesn't save the world yeah you can buy books but they're gonna be and it's also sorry with sustainability it's like so sorry I lost my thought um you're building this relationship like if we came as a club to another school and gave them money, then that's what they're gonna know us as, you know, the girls who give them money. And it's that, you know, you could build such a more rewarding relationship with girls who can teach you something too. Do you know what I mean? It's like, and that's so re rewarding, getting something back, building an actual friendship with these girls. You know, like one of the girls who became that, like she was just so fun. And she taught me stuff about her life and her friends. And it's like, if I just came and said, here's money, I hope you enjoy it. Like, she wouldn't have respected me in the way that she can talk to me like we're both friends and I can talk to her about my life and it's I think I'm not saying money like can't do a lot but I mean um, you can get a lot more out of not giving any money and giving your mindset giving your knowledge giving your whatever um, so I think yeah sustainability is a huge sustainability. that's a really I mean for my looking for your stuff Looking at your SOMO and what you gained out of that to the point where in your reflection you go like we're talking exactly about that, about uh, money does not change your mindset, encouraging self-determination through awareness is what will change people in the long run. Yeah, it was, um, yeah it's quite remarkable that in 18 months you've gone from someone who's like, I'm going to insert myself in cooking, <laughs> <laughs> to, uh, but even like your adaptability, which is this open-mindedness that we talk about is one of the learner profiles, is that you came in with this for you coming to an art program, so you were going to do something that was involved around feminism and art, yeah. and then you went, well, hang on, is this the best use of my time? So, and what was your goal, and, and then how did you change from that? For Girl Up? Yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of just went into it like, oh, I can empower girls by drawing a picture, and they'll see it. And then I was like, well, first of all, I don't know the issues in Malawi that girls face. You know, I can see it online or on TV or whatever, but like, I think it's so much more useful talking to girls face to face. You talk to them about your own life and it's like, that conversation is so rewarding and so insightful. You can't buy that, you can't look that up online, Do you know, it's like, yeah. 
And that is that where if you were passing information and we go about the question of knowledge, that investigation phase, how important is that? In, Put in. Yeah. yeah, investigation, like the research, the planning, the investigation, it's so important. And I think just talking to people, talk, talk, talk to people. I mean, I made um, an hour relationship with um, Miss Monroe. Um, I got to talk to her, she invited me to an event. It, unfortunately, I couldn't make it. But it's like getting those connections and different perspectives. I mean, it's so interesting, especially in Malawi. It's like there's so much people working in that field with youth, youth education or girl empowerment or whatever. So if you can talk to people face to face instead of just going online, it's, um, you can get more ideas for your for your project. You know, if I didn't talk to anyone, then I would have made a poster in the bathroom saying "Believe in yourself," and that's probably where I would have stopped. And that was my initial plan to just write "Believe in yourself," paint it on the wall. So um, the fact that it's gone into a club now that will run till next year. We voted the boards who will run it next year. One of the girls is writing um, an essay, her extended essay, but I mean, it's, yeah. It's Who's that? Feline, Feline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I think what I have for you is the final question. One thing I like about Cass, and that's why I actually took on a supervisor role, is to help someone. It doesn't matter who it is, and you talk about different ways of doing that. Is that the most important part of CATS? Mm, I think it's a bonus. I think for me the best part of CATS is how rewarding it is, and that's a bit selfish because that's only for myself, but it's, um, if you look at it as just a help, point of view you don't see how it can help yourself and I think that's the greatest thing about CAS is that it can seriously help yourself it can put yourself in perspective you can learn about other people's lives people who aren't as lucky as you you're grateful for your life um, yeah it's I mean help is important but it's helping others helping yourself help it it's this whole circle with lots of different people it's not just I'm gonna go in and help this group it's I'm gonna help this group I'm going to see how they can help me, and then I'm going to get help from my teacher, who can get help from my friend, who's from this organization, and it's just this whole, like, it's not just a one person helping another thing. So I think help does come in as a word that can be used, but it's not just as simple as saying, I'm going to help you, and I'm going to give you this, and it doesn't end there. It's really complex for a good cast project, I think.